Hello guys, so in today's video, we're gonna be disassembling your Smith & Wesson Easy Shield 9mm pistol. We're gonna be cleaning it, and then we're gonna be um, putting it back together. Um, I'm gonna walk you through that today and show you how to do that. So, for me, before I start, here's the things that I need. So, here we have our Hops 9 lubricating uh, cleaning kit and I'll add the link to this in the description to this video. We have our nine millimeter Smith & Wesson Easy Shield. And then for me, you always want to have a pair of safety goggles when disassembling your pistol for protection. And just for me personally, I'm gonna have a mask on because this cleaning stuff is really strong and um, it's just, it's, it gives off a, a good amount of fumes. So um, I recommend try to have a window open or like I said, just grab you a mask and, and cover up, cover up your face and nose. All right, so with my mask and my glasses on, well, I'll put the mask on when we start working, but my glasses are on now. So the first thing we wanna do is take our Smith & Wesson Easy Shield. We wanna make sure our safety is on, so. Just want to make sure our safety is in the up position. Uh, make sure that's on. And we want to press our side button to empty the magazine and just confirm your magazine is empty. And then we want to check that there's not a bullet in the uh, chamber here. It's not loaded. So we're just gonna slide the slide rails back, look inside in there and my firearm is um, not loaded. So it's safe to begin cleaning on the, your nine millimeter easy shield. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is after we confirm that the magazine is out and there's not a bullet in the chamber, we're gonna slide our rail back and then we're gonna use our slide stop here to keep it in the rear position, okay? So we're gonna grab up here at the grooves and we're gonna slide it back, slide your slide stop up, and it'll hold it like that, okay? All right, so next thing we wanna do, there's a takedown lever right here. So while your slide rail is back and the slide stop is in the up position to hold it back, we're gonna slide our takedown lever down 90 degrees to the six o'clock position. So this is it right here. And we'll just slide it down. And once you slide it down, as you can see, it slid down and it, and it just holds it like that. Okay, so now with that done, we're gonna grasp our <clears throat> slot sides again and we're gonna pull it back and so when we do that, the slide stop will become disengaged and we need to slowly, since our takedown lever is down, we need to slowly take that slide rail off the front of it. There's a spring underneath, so we need to go really slow to make sure that that spring does not come off. Um, while we're sliding this rail, we wanna make sure we're not gripping this um, grip safety firmly enough to to depress that button so don't don't press down on this right here okay so we we'll kind of hold it like that and when we bring it back we're gonna go slow okay so the slide stop is gone and with that takedown lever out the way it, it's gonna go right on it's gonna go forward so we're gonna grab it right here See how my hand is underneath it? Okay, and that comes off. All right, remember there's a spring down, there's a spring underneath it. Okay, so you have to make sure that stays in place. All right, so once that comes off, we need to remove our recoil spring. So right here, wanna be real easy, push it forward, let it come up, and then we're gonna take it off, okay? 
and then after that we're gonna take our bore out okay well pull this up pull it out and then it's disassembled okay there's all our pieces all right guys so now that we have our uh, gun disassembled now I'm gonna put my mask on all right and so we're gonna take our hops cleaning kit here let's open it up okay I already smell it right now it's so strong so first tool right here you can add different attachments here at the end of it okay so first thing we want to do is we're going to grab our attachment it looks like this it's black plastic and you can has a little opening in the middle where you can slide a little uh, cleaning cloth cloth in between so we're going to take that one and we're going to screw it into the front here okay and we should be looking like that okay all right so it comes with a bunch of different cleaning pads and cloths so we'll just take um, just one cleaning one cleaning cloth, kind of fold it up, and we're gonna slide it in between the opening on the attachment. Okay. And so guys, we should be looking sort of like this. All right. And so we're gonna first start with our bore cleaner comes in the black bottle and we'll open that doesn't have a spray or anything on it and we're going to pour that onto our just a little bit some small drops onto each side of the cleaning pad here okay and what we'll do is we'll take our bore and we'll just run it down the bore a couple times all right and you see how that's looking kind of black and dirty now okay and then we're gonna take our slide rail and we're gonna just kind of wipe the edges of that one with the same cloth since this has a little since it's a little lubricated, we'll kind of use that and clean off the size of the slide rail. Okay. All right. And so once we do that, we can take this dirty one off and discard this one. And we'll take a... In here, it has your bore brush. It's kind of with the hard bristles. We're going to switch the attachments on the front. So we're going to take this plaque black um, plastic piece off with the opening in the middle and we'll put the bore brush on and you should be looking like this so with that bore brush we're gonna take our bore and we're gonna slide it in there out do it one more time okay then loosen anything up in there okay and once we're done with that we'll take the bore brush attachment off and we're gonna go back and get another dry pad and we're gonna have to put our attachment back on the black the black one with the um, open in the middle Take our cleaning pad, we'll fold it to where it can slide in between the opening. Okay. So we should be looking like that. A dry cloth on the attachment. Okay. So we'll take our bore and we'll go in, wipe it with a dry one. 
Okay. All right. And then I'm going to take this one off. I'm going to throw this one out and I'm getting one more clean one. Fold it. And we'll put it through the opening. It should be looking like that for another dry, dry tip. So now since we have, we're done with the cleaning, the uh, black bottle, we're done with the, the, done with the black bottle. We'll take the orange lubricating oil and we'll just dab a couple on this dry cloth. kind of lubricate this cloth and we'll take our bore again you see we're cleaning the bore a lot here and we'll slide it through there just to get it a nice and coated in but inside of there you can kind of give it a little swirl or whatever you want to do inside just to get it lubricated and then with what's left on there with the lubrication you'll take your slide rail and just a little bit, just a little bit on this back side right here. Just kind of run it down the rails. Not a lot. Just a little bit. Don't want to put excess oil on there. And that's it. Okay. And last cloth. I'm discarding that. And we're done with cleaning it. Cleaning your 9mm Easy Shield. And so our next piece will be putting this um, pistol back together. All right guys, since the um, cleaning is done, take my mask off, um, we're gonna put it back together. So basically you just do your reverse steps and, and, and putting it back together. So take our slide rail, we'll grab our bore and up like this, see the back part? Okay, put it in there. All right, and it's gonna sit flush just like this. All right, and next we're gonna take our recoil spring. And when we, re when we reinstall this recoil spring, we wanna make sure our side, our flat um, edges are on the side. So the sides are flat, okay. And what we'll do is, You wanna put it inside here first and push it up. So I like how that's sitting. Okay, so once that's on, you wanna make sure the you, you wanna hold it up, make sure your recoil spring is right down the center. Um, if it looks off, like I said, it's okay to take it off and reseat it. Um, make sure it's seat it in that little notch at the end of the bore. And once that's done, we can put our rails back onto our, our um, pistol here. So make sure when you're putting the slide rail back on to not depress your, your grip safety. Uh, it will cause the firing pin lunger to interfere with the slide as, as, is, as we're installing it. So, Make sure you're holding this really light on the back end. Don't press it hard, okay? All right, so now it's time to put our slide rails back on. And so, remember, it's a spring underneath, so we gotta take it real easy. And so, it should line right up with these groove uh, I'm gonna call it like a groove path right here. And so you slide it on. Remember not to depress that grip safety and just slide it back. Okay. All right. And as you slide it back, you wanna lock up that slide stop to keep it from coming forward. And then we're gonna put back up our takedown lever. All right, and once that's done, okay, and you believe you got it on right, 
we'll just pop it back on there and it's put back together sliding sliding fine everything's coming out like it's supposed to um, firing pin looks good and that's how you clean your Smith & Wesson 9mm Easy Shield with the Hops 9 cleaning kit. Um, I'll add the link to this in the video, in the description of the video. Um, any questions, just uh, like, comment, subscribe. Um, I will get back to them as soon as possible. Um, thanks for watching.